Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Old Data iPhone Data Recovery Software. If you've ever deleted anything from your iPhone by accident and you want to recover it, the Old Data iPhone Data Recovery Software will allow you to do so. It is compatible with iOS 12 and also third-party applications like WhatsApp. So check them out, links in the description down below. So today we're talking about iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3. The software has been out for approximately two weeks now and Apple has yet to release any additional betas. Now in this video I'm gonna be explaining when we can expect a release date, why we haven't seen any additional betas, new features coming with this software, and also share my personal experience. So first, let's talk about some of the new features that are coming to the iPhone with 12.1.1. Uh, For those of you that haven't been following, FaceTime was very clunky, very buggy with iOS 12. 12.1.1 aims to bring a sleeker redesigned user interface, something easier to use and for the iPhone XR iOS 12.1.1 will be bringing additional options for haptic touch. Now the iPhone XR, for those that don't know, don't have the 3D touch display like the iPhone XS and XS Max. It has the haptic touch, which is a long press, which gives you the sensation that you have a 3D touch device, but it's not. So you'll get additional options with 12.1.1. When you get a notification, you'll have additional peek and pop options with haptic touch on iPhone XR. Now in regards to performance, the software has been working very well. Battery has been good. The software is smooth. Everything seems to be just fine. Now, I've been having a few issues with Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity, which I continue to address and talk about on these videos because it continues to happen. Now, this is not specific to iOS 12.1.1. I've been having these issues with the iPhone XS since its official launch. I did go to Apple, I got a replacement iPhone, and yet still have Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity issues. It always defaults back to the lower frequency, slower networks. The cellular network just doesn't work as good as it did before with iPhone X, for example. Uh, this is not software specific, as I mentioned before, I believe. This is a hardware issue. Again, I went to replace my iPhone and I got a brand new replacement one and still have the same issues. But we'll have to wait and see what Apple declares this to be in the long run. Anyway, talk about expect a release date and why we haven't seen any additional betas for iOS 12.1.1. Well, last week was Thanksgiving week, which means Apple did not work. So that means no new beta. So if Apple was to release a beta four, it would be on the 26th, tomorrow, Monday. Today is Sunday the 25th. Now, if no new beta is released tomorrow or Tuesday, then we'll most likely see the official launch of iOS 12.1.1. I mean, the software just aims to fix minor under the hood improvements and minor FaceTime and things that I talked about UI wise. So nothing major coming with this software in terms of like performance or major new features or enhancements. So the software is pretty much ready to go. I would say Apple will not be releasing an additional beta unless a major bug comes about, but I can expect this software to be released sometime this upcoming week. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.